Introducing chance to ruthless. Here's another one that's similar to a homework problem. So in this problem we want to graph y equals 2 times sine of 4x on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So in this problem there's something a little funky going on and that is the frequency is not 1, the frequency is actually 4. What does that mean? That means that from 0 to 2 pi there are going to be 4 complete cycles of sine. So there's going to be four of these curves fit from 0 to 2 pi. Now in other words, uh, that means that the period, you can probably see just from looking here at the graph, if there's going to be four cycles in here, the period, that is the, the, the amount of angle that it takes to do one cycle is just going to be uh, chunks of pi over 2. You can also see that by uh, doing this. You could say that the period is just 2 pi over the frequency, which in this case is 4. So you can see that the period is going to be pi over 2. Again, it just means that there's going to be uh, one whole cycle right in there. All right, so let's just go ahead and sketch in the rest of them. Okay. If you want, you could get a little more precise and label your x-axis here, pi over 4, um, and so on. But just for this problem, let's just make a quick sketch. All right, so that's what we've just done is we've graphed sine of 4x. Now let's go ahead and, and account for this 2 that we have here. Well, what does that 2 do? It takes all the values of sine of 4x and it multiplies them times 2. So where we used to have a y value of 1, it's now going to become 2. Okay? We used to have a y value of negative 1, that's going to go down and become negative 2, and so on. So the new sine um, curve here would look like this. So it's just stretched vertically. So let me just go ahead and move all of my maximums and minimum points down to where I know that they're going to be. And we know that sine is still going to cross the x-axis at the same places because it, at these places uh, sine of these angles are, are zero and two times zero is still zero so they don't get shifted at all. So let's just finish our curve here. And this is the graph of y equals 2 times sine of 4x. Well, what do we notice here? What can we see that's really important? Again, there are four cycles on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. You can see them. There's the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. The frequency of this function is 4. Okay. The period is pi over 2 because it takes these chunks of pi over 2 radians to go through one complete cycle and we also know that the amplitude is 2 